the force of attraction F between two bodies varies directly as the product of their masses M1 and M2 and inversely as the square of the distance D between them. When we are given that the force is 20 newtons when M1 is 25 kg, M2 is 10 kg and the distance is 5 meters. But to find an expression for F in terms of M1, M2 and D. Now, this is a pictorial view of what we are being told that two bodies M1 and M2 separated at a distance D and they have a force of attraction F between them. Now, we are told that F varies directly as a product of their masses, the product of their masses. That will be M1 multiplied by M2, that's M1, M2, okay, and inversely. Now, because they said and inversely, that means the product is there, inversely will be 1 over, okay, so that will be over the square of the distance D between them. That's the square, that will be raised to power 2, okay, so we have inversely as D raised to power 2. Now, this is a classical question in variation, okay, and we are just going to use the principle of variation to solve this question and get our answer out as we have been asked. Like for example, in the first case, we are asked to find the expression for F in terms of M1, M2, and D. But looking at this, we are only seeing a sign of proportionality. For us to make it an equation, we need to introduce the constant of proportionality. So that constant here, I want to use K. So I can now say F is equal to, now I'm not going to say is um, varying again because I'm introducing the constant of proportionality. So F is equal to K multiplied by M1 and M2 over D raised to power 2. Well, I've been given a case scenario that the force F, when it is 20 newtons, the mass M1 is 25 kilogram, okay? Then M2 is 10 kilograms. And the distance between the two bodies is 5 meters. So all of this, we are just going to substitute into the expression that we have for F so that we can find the value of the constant K. So if you do that, F is 20, we have K, M1 is 25, multiplied by M2, that is 10, divided by D, that's 5 meters. That's 5 raised to power 2, yes, 5 raised to power 2. Every is 25, so 25 can call 25, so that we have 20 is equal to 10k, and if you divide both sides by 10, k, our k is 10 here in 1, 10 in 22, k is 2. So, the expression for f in terms of m1, m2, and d2 is 2 multiplied by m1, m2 over d raised to power 2. That is the expression for F that we are asked to find. Now, this is question 1. Then, in the second case, we are asked to find the distance when the force is 30, M1 is 7.5, M2 is 4 kilograms. Okay? We can go ahead to put in those values now. Now, in this particular case, we are told that the force is 30 newtons. The first mass is 7.5 kg, the second mass is 4 kg. We have to find the value of the distance between them using this formula, okay? So if you want to just put in all the values, you know that that will give us 30 is equal to 2 multiplied by M1 is 7.5, M2 is 4 over D raised to power 2, okay? So now... Um, this is 30 over 1 and if we just cross and multiply the expressions, we have d raised to power 2 is equal to 2 times 7.5 times 4 divided by 30. Um, 2 and 7.5 that is 15. So 15 year 1, 15 in 32. 2 can go in 4, 2 year 1, 2 year 2. That means d raised to power 2 is equal to 2, so that d will be the square root of 2, and the square root of 2, that will be 1.414, okay, root 2, 
1.414 meters. All right, that's the solution to our problem.